Hi, good morning. Happy Tuesday. It feels like a Monday because yesterday was a holiday. Holidays always mess me up. You know what I'm spaying? I'm spaying. You know what I'm spaying? <laughs> my lips stuck together because of my lip gloss. Okay, come on. Let's go this way. I don't want to get the dogs all stirred up in case she's got both of them. Anyway, well, I had a couple of nights that I slept all the way to like 6.30 or 7. And now, this morning, awake at 4 o'clock again. So, I laid there for a while and realized that I was not going to go back to sleep. So, I went ahead and got up. And I went and fixed my coffee. And then, you know what I did? I put a piece of sausage, sausage, in a skillet. And I stood there and sipped on my coffee, staring at that sausage. By the way, what I was trying to think of in yesterday's video that, of course, never would come to me, Polish sausage is what the kielbasa is. It, it is. And when I said they ain't from around here, I didn't mean here is in Georgia. I meant here is in the States. I believe the person was outside of the United States. And, you know, they call things differently than we do. So, yeah, that's that's that Polish sausage, but I wasn't cooking Polish sausage this morning. I was cooking a sausage patty this morning. I was not cooking a sausage patty this morning. No, I was not. I was standing there drinking my coffee, staring at a sausage patty for five whole minutes or so before I realized I never did turn the stove eye on. We've had that conversation about stove eyes. Burners? I don't know. I don't know. Come on, baby. Please walk. She is so nosy. So when I came out this morning to take the garbage out, the black cat was up at the top of my driveway. I was like, what are you doing? What are you looking for? So it takes off running down the driveway when I come outside, and it runs across the street. Well, the last time I saw it, it was over here in Leanne's driveway, but I think Penny smells, said Black Cat, because she cannot focus today for nothing. I don't know where she gets that from, because I am always focused. Oh, look, a squirrel. Oh, look, mom time. I was trying to think of something clever and it wouldn't come to me. Stand by. Okay, moving on. A friend of mine went to the hospital and I wasn't sure why. And now she's in a rehab facility, AKA a nursing home. But I mean, she's there for rehab. I didn't know what had happened because you don't always see everything that everyone posts on a certain platform. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, yesterday I posted a picture of a dragonfly and she told me that she was told that the dragonfly could be the cause of her issue. I looked it up and it, what I read, dragonflies rarely ever bite and they only bite if you, it said basically you have to put your finger in their mouth for them to bite you but they never cause any harm. So, I also read, which I didn't really know this, that mos um, dragonflies eat mosquitoes. I mean, eat a ton of mosquitoes. I'll put the picture in of the dragonfly that I took yesterday. So I didn't know that, because my dad always said that dragonflies are also known as snake doctors, and that wherever you see dragonflies, you would see snakes. Well, I have dragonflies in my backyard, but I never see snakes, you know? Well, anyway, long story short, she contracted West Nile from a mosquito, which West Nile happens when a mosquito sucks the blood of a bird who has West Nile. I didn't know any of this, you know? 
anyway, it was very interesting. But she is now in rehab and she looks a lot better, I'll tell you that. Hopefully she will be healed up in no time. But I just found that very interesting about the dragonfly and the mosquitoes and West Nile. Yeah. I, mm. Let's see, what else was I going to tell you? Something very interesting, I think. <laughs> Probably not. I think I'm going to chop the head off of my flower today and go ahead and put it in a vase. My car's driving really fast. What you doing, babe? We just got back from a walk. What you doing? Well, Mommy, I want to go walk some more. Oh, man. Man, man, man. Look at all the little spider webs in the yard. That's weird. I hope you saw them, but she's jerking my arm off, so I had to keep walking. I don't know what she's doing, but she's fine. Aren't you fine? Are you fine? So I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hi, can we go back in now? Come on, Nosy. Nosy Nelly. Yeah, there's all these little spider webs all over the yard. I guess that's what they are. They're kind of creepy. Hold on. I don't know what they are. Anyway, I'll be back. Well, hi there. Here we are sitting on the couch. Somebody's over there asleep. Yeah, she's been asleep for quite a while. But anyway, I decided since we spoke of mosquitoes and dragonflies and things that I would go out back and do a little bit of work. You know, just picking up a couple of, you know, the, the pots that don't have the holes in them, the whole water, pull a few weeds, you know, the things. And I realized how very hot it was out there. Yes, it was very hot out there. It's not that it's that hot, it's very humid out there. So I didn't stay long, but you know what's bad is I was out there all that time by myself and someone slept in here in the cool house the whole entire time I was out there working. Mm -hmm. She left me to my own devices. I don't really know what that means, but, but I did get a few weeds pulled and I did get all the containers that hold water emptied and put up. I mean, I've been needing to do this for a while, but you know, with this heat going on, I just don't feel like being out there for much, for much of nothing. Just walking her isn't, is enough heat for me. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, let's see what else there was. Some, oh, yeah, I watched this guy on YouTube. His name's Ryan Hall, y'all. I've told y'all about him before, and he discusses the weather, and he said that the, especially in the southeast, that we're going to have quite the cool down in he said about 8 to 10 days. So if we can get through this 8 to 10 days of 90 degree high humidity days, then we're going to have cooler temps. I mean, he's talking like I might have to put on a jacket kind of cooler temps. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. We typically do not cool off, at least where I live in the uh, let's see, North Metro Atlanta area. We typically do not cool down until the end of September. It always happens the week of the fair. It's been like that since I was a wee little girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, we would have the fair and it would start off really hot and then it would have a lot of rain in the middle and then the end of the fair would be quite cool, cooler brisk temperatures almost, yes. So anyway, I was thinking about the fair. My mom used to love to take me to the fair. I mean, I was in the beauty pageant at the fair where I refused to walk out on stage. So I didn't even get to get voted on. Anyway, I think that was Miss North Georgia or Miss Cobb County or Miss, I don't know what the fair's 
beauty pageant is, but yeah, I was supposed to be in it, but I wouldn't walk out on stage. Instead, I hid behind a, a tree and played with the leaves or something on it. I don't know, but anyway. Um, but I remember being somewhat older, maybe 12 or 13, and I got in that thing that goes round and round and round and you stick to the wall. Y'all remember that thing? And a lot of the kids in there, and it was all kids in there. I mean, you hardly ever saw adults because, you know, as adults, our brains, something happens. And I think our brains kind of shrink a little bit or something because when you start going around and around like that, your brain starts kind of shaking and it starts making you feel nauseated and makes you feel lightheaded and stuff. I'm just blaming it on a loose brain because I don't know what else it is. But I remember being as a kid, all these people climbing around on the walls inside that thing spinning at 90 miles an hour. And they look like aliens or something climbing all over the walls. And I just remember being absolutely stuck to the walls. And I could hardly, like, lift my arm up. And I was like, how are these kids crawling around all over the inside of this thing? And I can't even, I mean, like, you raise your leg and it slams back down. Do y'all remember that thing? Yeah, that was back when I was young and stupid. And I could do things like that without getting sick. Well, speaking of getting sick, the sickest I ever got on a ride, well, there was two times. But the worst one was with my best friend, Kim. We went to the fair and we stopped on the way and got the Crystals, the Crystal Burgers. It's called Crystal but uh, my daddy calls them crystals, and they're little bitty hamburgers. They, I think up north they're called White Castle. Down here they're called crystals, and it's these little bitty hamburgers, and it's got a real doughy bun with some chopped onions and a, a little old piece of meat that ain't but like that thick, and a pickle and mustard. That's all it is on there, and they're delicious. And I'd eat two or three of them, which isn't a lot. Because they're only about that. They're squares. They're little squares. Yeah, I'd eat two or three of them and some fries and a chocolate milkshake. And you dip your french fry in the chocolate milkshake. Yeah, that was the thing. Anyway, we stopped and had that on the way to the fair. And then we got on this ride. And it started going in circles. And I told Kim, I think I'm about to be sick as we were flying through the air. Oh, I think we, I don't know what we were on. Were we on a, one of them things where we had to spin it? Maybe so. I don't remember. But I just remember telling her I'm about to be sick. And I kept trying to hold it. And I kept trying to decide where I was going to. Yeah, it was just. Here, that's, yeah. So, we got off and went and hid. Well, I went and hid, and she went and bought me a t-shirt. And I think I just threw that shirt away that I was wearing, and I put on that t-shirt. And, well, well, I think that was the end of that party. And then the next time I got sick on a ride was when I went to Disney. I was with Denise and Ansley, and... We got on some ride that, I, rock and roll roller coaster, I think, and we were in the dark, and we went forward real fast, and then we stopped, and then we started going backward real fast, and then we started going forward again, and we were still in the dark, and then we did a, some loop-de-loos or something. I don't know. I didn't really get sick sick, you know what I mean? I got a migraine. I was done with rides, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm now to that age that I am too old to participate in carnival rides. I mean, I can do minor roller coasters. I can't do anything that's going to go in a circle, a loop-de-loo, a round and round. I cannot do anything like that. No. No, it's bad. It's really bad. And I think it's because my brain has shrunk. This probably has nothing to do with it, but I don't know. The things that come inside my head while I'm talking, I just 
let it come outside my mouth so we can all be amazed by it, you know? <sighs> but anyway, <laughs> I have a little bit of a cold. It's not a cold. It's not a cold. I don't believe. I, d I do believe, I do be believing that I got a little bit too much uh, glutenish this weekend. I had a gluten party, which I could have also had a milk party with my frappuccino. I'm not so sure about that. But I did have a gluten party this weekend because Friday night, and I told Kim and John, I said, I can have a little bit of gluten. It doesn't bother me. It's true. It's a true story. I can have a little bit. So I did. I had the the popcorn shrimp and the fries and the um, hush puppies. That's what got me was the hush puppies. Because if, you, if you're not aware, hush puppies are like kind of like a cornbread type mix, but then they're deep fried. And so basically it's, it's a bready thing, right? I shouldn't have eaten them, but they were delicious. And then Saturday for lunch, I had that again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or, or maybe for dinner. I don't remember. But I had it again Saturday. And then Sunday, I went to Jones and had the vegetable soup. And uh, they made me that cornbread. So, that was more glutens. And then yesterday, I had my Chick-fil-A, which only has a little bit of gluten on it. You know, in the breading, it didn't matter. It was already too much. So, I'm having a little issue. I'll be fine. It shouldn't get much worse than this. It's not like dairy, but it do be affecting my sinuses, yes. But that was a lot of information in that few minutes, wasn't it? It's 2.15. I was off today, and I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment but I called in sick to my doctor's appointment because, one, I woke up at four, and I didn't feel good when I woke up. And, two, I didn't feel good at, like, eight o'clock. <laughs> and then, I, I mean, I went ahead and called in sick to my doctor's appointment. Basically, that just means I canceled my appointment. Y'all know I say a lot of things just to be silly. Anyway, and then I got, I kind of rebounded, and I felt pretty good. And I went outside and was trying to pick up stuff and put up stuff and, you know, get rid of the West Nile that's going on back there in my backyard. And I think uh, being out there might have been a little bit too much for the sinus thing I have going on. And I was like, you know what? I think I'll go in and sit down and watch TV for a while and do nothing because I hardly ever do that. So I did that and I've been watching these YouTube videos where this guy, and I can't remember his name. What's his name? Hold on. His name is Peter Santanello, common spelling. <laughs> That's what them deputies used to do to me. Peter Santanello, common spelling, I'd be like, you need to back that train on up because I don't know the common spelling for Santanello. However, um, it is, uh, please stand by. Okay, I couldn't get that pillow. I couldn't, I couldn't get comfortable. Anyway, it's C-A, no, it's not. S-A-N-T-E-N-E-L-L-O, Santanello, Santanello. Anyway, he does these where he travels to other places and he makes videos. You know, he asks the people, hey, can I talk to you on camera or whatever? And then he inter interviews them and he went to like the Appalachian app. <sighs> he went to the Appalachian Mountains and talked to some people in West Virginia and Kentucky. He talks to some coal miners and now he's talking to this guy that lives completely off the grid. He's a young guy. I think he's in his 20s, but he has no identity. Well, I mean, he's got an identity. He doesn't have an ID. I think he has his own YouTube channel now, though, but he lives off the land. He grows his own food and does everything, and he shoes horses and does some other stuff to make money. He said the hardest part 
because he wasn't raised this way. He said the hardest part about living with no electricity is like living without a refrigerator. But he does go to his parents' home, I guess connects to their Wi-Fi and charges his phone and stuff like that so that he can make his videos. I'm thinking. I'm thinking he has to. And I don't know any of that to be true because, again, words are just coming out of my mouth. But this guy interviewed him, but people in the comments were saying he has his own channel now. So, and then somebody else said he goes to his parents' house. So, I'm just saying what I read in the comments. So, don't quote me on any of that. Don't be like Tracy Tries said because you can't trust what I just said as far as this man goes, okay? You can trust a lot of things that I say, but not that. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. So, I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Remember that I love you and Jesus loves you and I hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you later. I love you. I'm hanging up. First. Okay. Bye. Bye first.